Hello, dear students. Let's see one more example of recursive function, which will tell us how to find sum of first n natural numbers. <music> So as you see in this exercise here, we have written a recursive function which finds sum of first n numbers. Now I hope you have seen the previous video where we saw sum of n numbers is n plus sum of n minus 1 numbers. Let's see what main is doing. Main will ask the user to enter some value a. Let's assume a entered by the user is 3. So we are interested in finding sum of three numbers as a is three. That means we want to find one plus two plus three. So here comes the call to the function b is equal to sum a. Definitely this call is b is equal to sum three because a is three and the function starts, isn't it? With the parameter n as three. Now very quick way of seeing this function in action is I have written the function again and listen this function sum has been called from main by passing the parameter n as 3. Check the table here on the right hand side or rather the graph or the executions that has been shown on the right hand side. Main has called the function as b is equal to sum a where a is 3. So if you actually run this function sum with n equal to 3 notice that the if statement is going to be false because we are asking is n equal to 1 whereas n is 3. So the if portion will not run and the else will run which says it will return 3 into sum of 2. So that's what has been written here. Check sum 3 or sum n when n is 3 is going to return 3 plus sum 2 but this sum 2 is a recursive call. So sum gets called again and the parameter n this time, which was 3, will now become 2. But what happens when sum n, where n is 2 runs, it also goes in else as if is false and it says it will return n plus, that is 2 plus, sum of n minus 1, that is sum of 1. But this is a recursive call. Sum is getting called again with the parameter n this time as 1, as you see. Now, when this function is running with sum n and n is 1, then the if becomes true, isn't it? And that's it, base case has reached. So the function now literally returns 1. If the function returns 1, as I am marking here, the function ends. But which function has finished? The function with parameter n equal to 1 has finished and it has returned 1. Remember, this one will be returned at the call, isn't it? And, I, and now the calling function will resume, saying that, okay, now I will return 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, which is 3. And as it returns 3, the function also ends. And the calling function resumes, where the 3, the value 3, 2 plus 1, 3 was returned at the call here, correct? So this function sum 3 will now return 3 plus 3 which is 6 and sum 3 also ends. So 6 is returned back in main just observe and b becomes 6. Hence we have found 1 plus 2 plus 3. I hope you have understood how this sum function actually executes. Actually we saw this formalization that sum n is equal to n plus sum of n minus 1 numbers. We saw this recurrence formula in the previous video and we also saw that if we, if we are finding sum of one number, then we will not use the formula. If we are finding sum of one number, we will simply return 1. I hope this problem of finding sum of n number is very clear and ultimately when we get back the answer in main, we will print the answer as sum of numbers up to percent D is percent D. So the output is going to be sum of numbers up to 3 is equal to 6. That's it. This was the example of finding sum of first n natural numbers. See you in next videos with some more examples. Thank you very much.